Now, where do you reside these days? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. When it comes to Milwaukee, what do people get wrong about it? Is it something people say, but it's just not true? Um, I feel like it's not even what people say. I just feel like the city itself could just do a little bit better when it comes to supporting. But I love the city, and it, we definitely got a lot of dope artists there. But like I said, it's just the support level that comes with Milwaukee. And I feel like with Milwaukee, it's a lot of competition. So it's like, okay, if I'm a female artist and this is a female artist, like they try to pin the artists against each other instead of supporting and working and getting behind both of these two artists. So, I mean, other than that, like, I love the city. I just feel like we could always definitely support a lot more, like how other cities, like, help get behind artists and, you know, support, show, share music, tag people and stuff like that. So, yeah, we just got to do better when it comes to supporting. Best thing about Milwaukee, if there is a best thing. Um, We got, I mean, is this, like, Generally wise? speaking, generally okay, speaking. Okay, um, like Milwaukee is definitely, um, like I said, it's a lot of dope artists in Milwaukee. It's a lot of dope independent uh, uh, black businesses that's out. Milwaukee is definitely successful. Like I said, it's just the, the city that, like, it's like a crab in a bucket. Like, if they see somebody succeeding instead of, like, pushing them and helping them and helping them, you know, grow as an artist or whatever it is that they do, it's like, they'll probably talk about you or try to like, you know, just not support or whatever. But other than that, like, yeah. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, the next question was going to be, what's the worst thing about Milwaukee, if anything? I don't know if what you just stated yeah, I was, just was the answer that. to that yeah, or yeah. if you it's had It's just like the support. Other than that, like the city is great. We got a lot of dope artists, a lot of businesses, a lot of money, a lot of, you know, we got the, we just won the, <laughs> the NBA championship last year with Giannis. So it's really dope, but yeah, it's just a support. We just got to support y'all. We got to support. When it comes to the level of support, are things getting better? I actually would say it's getting a little better. Yeah. Now, are you able to say you're from Milwaukee mm -hmm. without actually saying you're from Milwaukee? <laughs> What's crazy is, like, I get asked that a lot. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't even say it's the way that I talk because a lot of people think I'm from New York because I say yo or this. But um, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to say, like, okay, how do you know she's from Milwaukee without her saying it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, is there a, a phrase or is there something that you do or... Anything um, of that nature? Nah, nah, I can't think right now. But, I mean, I, I would say, like, um, Milwaukee is known for, like, okay, let's just say, like, dance smooths, um, a specific type of music style. Um, we known for just, like, crazy stuff, like, bass and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's how they know. Or people, they got their legs. We do got some phrases now, but. <laughs> now, what's the most Milwaukee response when asked, quote, what do you do for work? You now, said, this oh, doesn't have to be you personally. This mm -hmm. could be generally speaking of people in Milwaukee. But what's the most Milwaukee response when asked, what do you, quote, what do you do for work? Um, a lot of people say, like, they have their own business, for sure. You know you're from Milwaukee if you have this in your home. <laughs> Um, Fill in that blank. Okay, let me think. If you got this, you're like, oh, it's so crazy. I can't even think, but like, when we done, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah. But um, I can't think about that right now. I don't know. Okay, if, if it pops this, back in. Okay, you can go back to that. Yeah. <laughs> What's the craziest thing that's happened to you in Milwaukee? Um, The craziest thing, it could be anything. Ooh. Okay, so I'm parked at, well, not even parked. Okay, so I'm driving. I pull to the red light, right? And, you know, the Kia boys, right? Boom. Just It's just crazy. Like, when I say baseline and, and driving is reckless in Milwaukee, you got to be careful because, like, here I am just at a stop. Like, and I'm thinking, like, when the light turned green, I'm finna go. Mm -mm, car got knocked off the side of the road. And I'm just like, only in Milwaukee. <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, this is something you saw or it actually happened to No, this to actually you? happened to me. But it happens to people all the time. Like, the driving is reckless. The Kia boys is real. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, there may be some viewers watching this that don't live in Milwaukee mm -hmm. that are hearing that phrase for the first time. What does that mean, the Kia boys? Um, it's just a, a crazy group of young guys that, like, steal Hondas and Kias. So it's like, if you got one of them cars, you better be careful because they're going to come and get you. Mm -hmm. 
Has that ever happened to you by any chance? Um, no, I don't actually drive one of those cars, but I have got smacked by one of they reckless driving before. So yeah, try to stay out their way. Now, what ended up? Excuse me. What ended up happening in that car accident there that you were involved in? Were you injured? Was it? Mm -hmm. No, I car totaled uh, by any chance? No, um, I, they did kind of like mess up the front ear. I got the front uh, end of the car, but I actually got it fixed. But like when it actually happened, they literally just immediately just hopped out and started running. That was it. That's what they do. That was the next question. Was it a hit and run yeah, situation? Yeah, that's it. And it, it's always teenagers. Like it's just like kids do. Like it's very well known. Like I could say I'm from Milwaukee, and they'd be like, "Oh, you were the kid boy stay." Like what? Like that's not nothing to brag about. But I mean, it's real. So I mean, yeah, got to be careful for them. What's the one place you wish had a drive through in Milwaukee? Um, if there probably, is a place. Probably Applebee's. I love Applebee's, but I always got to order on the phone and pick it up and they bring it out. So if I had a drive through yeah, I love their steak and their shrimp. Mm, yeah. <laughs> now, Applebee's is a chain. Yeah, of course. Are there multiple Applebee's in Milwaukee or is it a particular Applebee's that you go to or? No, you... not a specific one. They're okay. everywhere. But I literally only get one thing when I go there, nothing else on the menu. It's just they steak, they shrimp, and they potatoes with the Parmesan sauce. It'd be so good. Like, I don't care. Like, I love it. I got to eat at least once a week. Well, the reason for that question is that sometimes when there are chains, even if it's local yeah. or national, sometimes people will say whatever their response is, there's a particular location of oh, yeah. that chain to go to because yeah. it's only it only tastes a certain way right. there. Well, that that statement is definitely true. I mean, I will go like depending on where I'm at, but nine times out of ten, I will probably be going further out, Menominee Falls or something. But I mean, if I'm like on this side of town and like I got a taste for it, I'm gonna go there. What's a Milwaukee spot you miss? It's no longer there anymore. Um. Okay, probably, okay, this is crazy, because, like, back when I was a teenager, <laughs> we had, like, this club, like, it was literally, like, a club for teenagers. It was called Sugar, and it's, it's, it's been gone for years now, so. Care to share your current age at this point? Um, should I keep that a secret? <laughs> no, I'm 28 years old. Now, who is the spokesperson of Milwaukee, if there is a spokesperson at this point? Have a specific person. Everybody speak for themselves. 